I'm down in Gaviota Marina with my Edel 43 foot catamaran. I'm taking all the anti fouling off and replacing some of the through holes. In case you're wondering, that's not osmosis, that's old pock marks left from where barnacles have been removed um, and, and pulled a little bit of the anti fouling away. Now, this particular through hole, I don't have access on the inside to get a wrench on it to take the nut or the valve off. In fact, the whole thing is still stuck on there, it's very old and can't get any of it off. So I've decided to use a hole saw um, to remove it. Now this is only going to um, work on a bronze or plastic through hole. Use a, a hole saw where the outside diameter is only marginally larger than the threads on the through hole. So you don't want to use one that's slightly smaller. It's got to be the same size or slightly larger. And then a block wooden, in this case I've used a bit of plastic, cut to exactly the, the size of the inside of the through hole. I've used a square piece because there's two little lugs on the inside that are used for the installation of the uh, through hole, and those lugs will stop the block from rotating. The reason the block is there is so that the center drill can hold the hole saw in position, and I can only cut the flange exactly where I need it. I keep rotating the drill around getting different angles. Just gives me better purchase on getting the bronze out. Um, now you can see in this particular point here I've got the bronze away and you can just see a little of the hull showing through there and I don't want to go any deeper than that I don't want to damage the the hull at all so I'm going to keep drilling I'm going to have a go at this top area here on the right and the top um, and I'm, I'm going to keep rotating the the angle of the drill so that I get the top part and then I can remove the flange so I, you'll see I keep drilling and I'm, I keep looking in there to make sure that I'm not drilling the hull. Um, once I've finished my drilling, use a flat bit of metal. In this case, I'm using my saw blade so that my hammer or my crowbar won't damage the, uh, the gel coat or the hull. And I just uh, use my hammer and pop it off just like that. Well, you can see why I was never going to get the nut or the ball valve off the inside of those threads especially where this was located in a locker with very little access. Um, once I cut the outer flange off using the hole saw, I was able to just grab it with my hands and rotate it, unscrew it. It came off uh, fairly easily.